What is up, everybody? Uh, you clicked the video, so I'm pretty sure this is what you requested. Um, I had a lot of comments uh, stating that they that you guys want me to uh, make a video on this, so I'm gonna try as much as I can to make this video. And most of you guys are gonna find this a little bit hard and advanced, but I'm gonna try and make it a little bit easier. This is my version on how I make data chart racing videos, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have different um, aspects on how to make it, but these are to the people who are starting for the first time. So yeah, let's get on with it. Oh, you see a green screen, right? Now we're in the internet. Once you're in Google, type in flourish.studio. You got to make sure that it's flourish.studio and nothing but flourish.studio. So once you're there, create an account. And it's very important to create an account because if you don't create an account, you're not, you won't be able to save any projects. So it's best if you create a project. So once you have that, click new visualization and you're greeted with all these choosings of the templates of every pie graph, every continent, country. But what we're trying to look for specifically is bar chart race. So click bar chart race. So I don't like using this template personally. So I'm going to give you guys a special template to use. What uh, Flourish has for these new people is that they're starting with this new software called v17.5.1. Don't use 17.5.1 because the problem is, is that once you go to data, there's like a there's like multiple squares of column numbers and it makes it so hard and sophisticated to make the videos automatically. So what I do, what I use personally for the software is a thing called v14.1.1. And what's that? And what that's going to do is that it's going to help make your videos flow a lot better and it's going to make your job less painful and torturous and um, there's going to be a link in the description below to uh, download the software so once you click on the link in the description for this old software what you're going to want to do is click on create this visualization so now you're greeted with this kind of template you got the previews you got the data we got bar chart race visuals so it's really, really, really cool and creative. Like to create the bars, to create the colors, to create the regions, everything is there. So click data and you might want to click and spread everything. Select, get rid of everything you need because we don't need that for our, our, um, our project. We need to make our own project, not someone else's. This, this, what they gave us was just an example. Okay, once everything is removed, you can now name the title of your project. So let's go with Shrek Films. We're gonna search up Shrek Films online. So type in Shrek Films, and also on the A label, type in Films, or whatever. And then spread everything from the 1900s to the 2000s, you might want to remove the column. Remove all the columns. Click remove columns. If you don't think that you have enough columns for 2017, right click and click right to the right. And click it as much as you can and label all of the, the years. And guys, do not panic. If you see something like this, you see where it says value on data? Well, it has D-U. So instead of D-U, we're gonna make it D-A and C to get that purple lighting code. code and that's gonna help us because it's gonna help us show the data results later on in the preview. So we have to re research and find the films of the data of the box office. So type in Shrek Films in the box office. The first thing on the top, click it. Franchise, Shrek franchise. And this is all the data stuff that they have from opening weekend to, 
to worldwide box office. So, first, type in the titles of the Shrek films. From Shrek 1 to 4, then Puss in Boots, Puss in Boots 2, optional. Make sure that you type in the year, because you don't want to get confused with um, just the title. You want to be specific about what you're actually going to show for your video. Okay, so now we got all of our titles. So the next thing that you want to do is to go back to IMDb, click in Shrek. Okay, so now you're greeted with this. We're done with all of these box office films. Everything that came out at the very end is going to go to present day because it's going to make the video a lot more fluent. And all of these markings count as opening day weekend where it all began really high. So now let's go to preview. And what you're gonna wanna do is to shrink, spread spread the data forms a little bit. Also, you might wanna change the color. Maybe you wanna change the color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my bar and I want an orange, well, I want like, uh, let's do green-ish blue kind of like substance. So we got green, blue, kind of like uh, bars. So let's go for that. So next, what we're going to use is also um, make sure that the title, you can see the titles. Maybe I want to adjust it, so I'm going to adjust the title. So now I'm going to adjust the box office so that way highest one you could see all the totals of of how much it earned but also busy around with it a little bit it's all you it's all you you depend on your project as long as it's enjoyable and stuff like that you're all good Make sure you have also the spacing, you know, like how much space does every bar need to have? I don't know, but I think this is perfect the way it is. And uh, make sure that the numbers also have the revenue, the dollar sign. And uh, make sure that... Also make sure that you have uh, the colors for the dates. And also the totals like what is the name of the total is it yada 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 no it's box office the box office we could use a color and name it box office total so yeah so um that's pretty good so go back to data okay so you're done with the project so the final thing that you want to do for the data is to look for the images. So, where can you look for the images? Well, you could go to IMDb and you can just find the images that they provided in, in, the, in the website. But I don't recommend using their own images because the problem is, is that if you use IMDb's images, your preview photos are going to look very, very cracky and a little bit wonky. So my advice is to look up the images on Google Images or any other website besides IMDb because they're only going to provide you with the shrinky dink of um, the poster. Once you find your image of the Shrek poster, right click and then click save image as and then type in Shrek poster 2001 or Shrek 1, whatever you like to call it. Just make sure that um, it's recognizable. Now go back to Flourish and then right click and then click upload file. And then right into downloads, click poster that you downloaded. And then boom, it's right there. And then you want to do that with all of your other um, catalogs. Boom, I got every catalog from every Shrek film, especially Shrek 5, which is an upcoming film. I'm gonna put the budget for Shrek 5 to 165 million because that's the estimated 
movies that DreamWorks has had. So this is what it looks like, this is the preview, and if you don't like the images, click images and go to rectangle, so that way it can fit everything. If you don't like it, click fit, and then if you don't like how it looks, you could always move it to the right a little bit. Sometimes that could always help too. Moving it to the right and make it look more consistently always helps. So that's how you make a flourish project. And um, the rest you could just do on your own as well. You know, um, you could try and screenshot this. You can try and um, video uh, film this um, project that you've already made. You can try and use um, Adobe Premiere Pro. You could try and use Final Cut Pro. So yeah, let's play the video. This is what the, my video looks like. Two came out in 2004, and Shrek III, 2007, and then Shrek Forever After, and then 2000, and 2011. So it's pretty cool. So what you can try and do is to um don't don't use the kind of musics that you want to listen to. You gotta find music that is non-copyright, so that way you don't have to you don't get any uh, copyright um, claims, and then you won't be able to get paid on you. So don't do that. What you can do is to look up some non-copyright um, music. I will I will leave a link in the description below on uh, non-copyright music, and uh, and I guess and I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe. It really means so much to me to make um, to make a video like this. It, it took guts to make this kind of video, but I want to make it seem a little more cool, and interesting. So, yeah, uh, support me online. I'm always gonna make uh, more data chart racing videos. So, take care. See you next time.